old Mercedes are some of the best looking cars that I reckon you'll ever see. And the way that the modern trend is going, where the designers are making things more curvy and more bubbly in shape, that takes away a lot of what Mercedes was from the 80s up to the 2000s. Even models like the CLS and the CLA in the late 2000s were taken away from what Mercedes was at that time as well. The saloons were being swept and curvy and bubbly and banana shaped. That's not really, that's not really what the people that would go for those necessarily want anyway. They'd want more of a saloon or a coupe, a decision out of the two, not this sort of amalgamation of the both. And that's sort of flown its way into every one of the models that are coming up now. You look at the C-Class Coupe and how that is a lot more curvy and bubbly than that of the one that came before. I've, I've done a video on that as well. You look at something like the AMG Hammer, which came from an E-Class in the 80s, that looks so much more appealing and aggressive and what you want from a you know German muscle car practically than that of the E-Class Coupe now. The E63 is just a bigger C-Class. There's not, there's not really any comparison between the two or disparity. It's not like there is, there is clear separation between each of the models. It's all, it's a product now. It's like a phone. I think not enough people know about the original Mercedes anyway. People that are, you know, massively into Mercedes or cars in general will. And quite a lot of people will have seen the shape but just not know what models they are. Things like the 190 Cosworth and like the AMG Hammer there. Or even just any E-Class from the 80s. They all look like a Mafia member will be stepping out of them afterwards. And that's the sort of vibe that they gave off. That's the sort of target audience they went for. And it's why most people look up to Mercedes at that time as a luxury car. Because it was a German-crafted, luxurious interior, big-engined, massive-looking saloon. And even the brand new S-Class today doesn't even have that same intention behind it. You know, it's gone all to the swooping sort of styling. I hate to see it because they're all going the same way. They're all just going to be bigger versions of each other. When you've got the AMG department, you know, heavily invested in into Mercedes now as part of their production, half of the AMG, like the Hammer, they made a lot of drastic changes to it, but nothing that was, you know, taking the piss like it is now, where it's just like a vent and it says AMG on. It was, they upgraded the engine so it went faster, they made it look more sporty and lowered it and changed all the suspension so that it would go faster, they made the wheel arches look more aggressive, that kind of thing, and that was it. That's what they did. Whereas now, like I say, it's a fake exhaust on the back and that considers it AMG line. Yeah, they can piss off. But I guess on the other side, I'm talking about cars that came out 40 years ago now. There is change, people, especially the market drives what Mercedes will make and do and produce. That is a big driver of, of them and most people now, you know, <laughs> Late 20s that have got a bit of money get themselves an A-class now, don't they? And that's that's probably the biggest target audience they have in the modern day. So therefore, the requirements of their cars are going to change too. I'm one person. I can't dictate what Mercedes are going to do. But it is still painful to see. I'm trying to hold on to something that I've never experienced before. And so to see that happening before my eyes, that's why I get... It's frustrating. I feel like in this current moment, I cannot experience, you know, an 80s hammer. Like at the CLK 65, I'll, I'll never know, one, what that looks like in person, and two, the intention and mentality of that, because it is mental. All we're going to get now is this GLE electric version. Like I say, it's frustrating. And then again, what do I know? I drive a white Fiesta, so the new cars could be better than fucking everything I'm talking about, so...